hospital bed at the university teaching hospitals. Mr. Chirua, who was clearly in pain from the bullet wound, narrates his painful ordeal. Yeah. So, uh, with the way they stopped us, it was like uh, we thought to say these are just hand robbers because they were not putting on anything. They didn't have any uniforms, there was nothing, they just had guns. Then they shot the, gu the, car, the car tire. So, I went out, I had to turn the car. Yeah. So as I, as I started speeding like that, that's how they shot the car and one bullet had hit me. They shot several times. Yeah. One bullet had hit me, then I lost control of the car, then I hit into, into a fence nearby. Yeah. So from there, that's how my wife, she tried opening the door, she couldn't pass through and she was pre she's pregnant. Yeah. So she passed through the window. Yeah. So they were still firing. So I told them to say, I've been hit, I can't come out of the car. And I'm not, I'm not even harmed. So that's how I had to open the door. Then I used my hands and crawled down like that, yeah. That's how they just grabbed me and put me in the, in the van. Yeah. Without knowing what was happening, that's how I was brought back to, the, to UTH. He has vowed that he will sue the state because he did not commit the said crime. So... I don't know where they got that info to say this car was, was was spotted at the crime scene of this because I was with the car. Even if you go by my workplace, you find to say the car is always parked there. Sorry to bother you, but just last me, if are you going to sue the state over this matter? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah, because I mean, do I deserve what happened? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, I just have to do that was the shooting of Mr. Chirwa, who wedded his wife this year and carrying his baby, a clear mistake by the police. Tito Kalama for S24.